Welcome back, this is part two of Secrets of Palace Midas. So we get this uh, lead bar, this is the second one, I think. I practiced it a number of times because I had a number of problems with the screen recorder and I wanted to try and get it into a 15 minute but I couldn't quite manage getting it inside because I've got an unverified account. So I'll have to do it in two videos. So go to this door, this is all, this open door without having to pull any leaves as far as I know. And then we come into here and there's like a fire going here and there's a tent. It's that guy from Tomb Raider 3. It's his tent, I think we stole it or something. Uh, these ammo, but I don't think we have a gun to use. And the water spear gun, we don't have any. <laughs> don't think there's a spear gun on this one. The water's about two inches deep as well. And the machine guns, we can use them on the, on the next bit. There's a weird secret, there's two secrets, there's a centaur which falls over and breathes poison on you. Again, this, this thing, you can't use his ammo as well, isn't it? Gives you a poison, so you have to take a med kit there. And then there was another bit, and I, I wondered how to get up here, and I was down on that bit there in the corner. And it's like there's space at the top, and you can climb up it, and I've got a guide to get this. Climb up this green bit. I was sure there was something up there, and I couldn't get up. I was very annoyed. Apparently climb up here and you have to do a backwards jump, so I go this way into the corner there and then do a backwards flip land on this roof here and there's some more ammo, but I think it's a magnum clip or something up here, but we don't have magnums either got the shotgun uh, earlier on from the first part but I don't think there's a magnum up here or anything else and this is another weird one, you either get guns but not enough ammo, or, not, or too many enemies, or bullets for guns you don't have. <laughs> so, we're going to here. Now, this is a very two mode of four, this next bit. This door's open. You can only get the door to open if you stand on the squares, and then it lights the uh, torches from left to right. So, you must start off on this square. And this is, you can go to this one here. Don't walk off of them, it just turns them off, and you got to start again. And we go to the middle one, and then with the lighting as we're going. Now jump onto this one, don't stand too near the edge because you'll just turn them off for some reason on that square. Jump onto this one, and it opens, but don't jump off the squares. Jump onto this one here. You have to walk onto the pattern tile or the gate will shut, trapping you in there. And Lara does his thing, she disappears. Get the better guns, pick up the iron bar. Don't come back in here or the door will shut and you can't get out. Shoot that. Because I was stuck on it, I thought, what do I have to do? I thought these are the doors open. If you come back in here, the doors will close and you can't get out. So that, either that's a bug or just a weird AI thing. So we come back to here and we have to turn the lead or iron back into gold. Now there's no, we can't go back because in the original two metal one, you go back to the hand of my dust. But this one, there's these weird things in this room. These things in the wall that look like holes. You have to put them into there. Mind these tiles, there's other spike pits here. We put it in here, this is really weird. I'll save here actually. Because you can land on these tiles where you can get burnt. We put it in there, and what it does is, I'll show it. Puts it in. It shoots out in Jalara, and I don't get that. It's really weird, like it defecates the thing out, I don't know if it shoots as well. Don't land on the squares in front of the running gold because that will set a on fire. Just down the square in front of the hole. I don't get this, it's like... Put it in, it shoots out, it hits Lara and it injures her. I'm not sure if it takes any help, I'm not sure. You can be very careful with, with the fire, with the molten stuff, because it's difficult to see which ones might injure you. And then the final one, and we have to basically put these in those three alcoves. And it opens another door. This is weird. It's supposed to be lead, isn't it? Not iron. Is it lead? I'm not sure how the myth went or whatever. <laughs> right, so I need to go back without falling down the hole, Lara. I've done that enough time. And... Yeah, because when you first come into this area, oh, when I shot the crocodile, Sophia Lee, apparently the story is Sophia Lee has a clone called Francesca or something, Francine Lee or something, and she turns up at the end of the level, but you can't kill her. Which is fun. A bit annoying. So you put that in there, and you start hearing footsteps, but you can't 
I can't see anybody in the, else in the level, so it's, I, don't, I don't know what that is. It's like a weird thing, I don't know. It made, it made me thought, it made me think there was somebody walking about, but I couldn't see anybody. And the final one, Lara. This next bit's a bit annoying after this door opens. Right, put that in there, and it opens the second, because there's two doors here. There's the outer door, which we activated by putting that block and getting the, the gold coming in. Best to save. Because these doors are annoying. The bit between the doors looks like it's got gold on it. It's a weird visual thing. Get, walk Lara up to the edge and then just stand and jump and she'll just get it. But you've got to time it and the doors will catch it. Because it's happening again. Otherwise she'll just land in the gold. The door closes. Now you're in a square room full of gold. Molten gold. There's four uh, levers and you've got to pull them. But it's best to pull the, the two ones at the back. Because uh, this Francine woman will turn up. And you can't kill her and she'll shoot at you and of course you're boxed in with this thing so you get caught out. So pull these two first and then you can go pull one of the other ones on the other end and then you're free to pull the other one and just run into the gate thing that's just laid down and that's the end of the level so not too hard but it's a bit annoying to get it going and of course recording it's a pain. Really annoying things you have to do, technical problems. Come on, Lara, stretch. Pull this one, or this woman will turn it. Oh, she's there she is, and you can't kill it, so there's no point trying to shoot her. She's a bit silly there. And we just jump through here. And that's the end of the level. Got six, I'm sure I got six. I don't, one of them doesn't register, but never mind. Okay, that's all from me, so until next time, bye!